In this video, we'll demonstrate a powerful new feature uh, that will improve the productivity of uh, developers, and that is the ability to debug into running uh, web applications. So previously, uh, working preview was the only way that you could debug into your uh, components, but you couldn't use working preview to debug into a running um, A5W page. Now, whenever you run uh, in live preview, whether you're running a component or an A5W page, you can debug your server-side uh, code. So you can see here we have a simple page called uh, mypage.a5w that just does a query against a SQL database and lists the customers in the state of Massachusetts. So if we go back to the uh, A5w page here called my page.a5w uh, and we insert a debug1 statement uh, into the page and then we execute the page because we're running in live preview uh, the debugger has now come up so now we're debugging a live um, a5w page running in the server and you can see we can single step through our code uh, and watch it execute and um, this is going to make uh, life for developers uh, substantially easier in debugging uh, A5W pages and um, and components. So in this case, we're uh, obviously we're debugging into an A5W page. Let's go next now and see how we can debug into a component. So we'll just uh, run this, and uh, there's our output over here. So now let's go back here and uh, create a uh, component. So we'll create a simple dialog component and uh, go to uh, controls and then uh, text box and then we'll just go here and type in say first name, last name and then we'll put a submit button on it and uh, then in the server side event handler in the after dialog validate we'll just put a debug one. Now um, obviously we've always been able to debug using working preview so I'll just go uh, debug um, demo so obviously if I go here into working preview I'm gonna uh, hit the uh, debug uh, when I hit the submit button but in many cases uh, working preview isn't going to be um, usable for many people because they've got uh, the security framework turned on, they've got session variables defined, etc. And so using working preview is not really available to, to you. And so um, debugging into the event handlers is only useful if you can debug a running application. So now let's basically um, run in live preview. So we can do it from either within the browser or um, we can um, go over to um, uh, um, an external browser and we'll just go there and just type in some value and then hit the submit button and so now you can see we've hit the uh, breakpoint and here we are now inside the after dialog validate and if we go there look for example at e.data submitted we see there's the value that we submitted so we're debugging right now inside a running live application being served up by the application server and we've got our full debug environment available to us so this I think is a really major improvement uh, f uh, for productivity of, uh, of developers and I uh, hope that you enjoy this thank you very much for watching